everyone and welcome to another Transformers toy review. Today we're taking a look at uh, Transformers. This is still in the War for Cybertron line, Kingdom, and it is the Golden Disc Collection. And we've got ourselves Autobot Jackpot and his little kind of target master buddy, Autobot Sights. Now, I uh, just received this the other day from Hasbro Pulse. I think they're also potentially... Uh, exclusive through Amazon potentially so I think you can get them through Amazon and Hasbro Pulse I think uh, there might be other specific online retailers that will do them but I don't think you can get them in any stores from what I know um, first thing is they've kind of gone with a different approach to the packaging so there's no plastic at all with this obviously apart from the actual figure um, all the insides and everything I've taking it all out, even the kind of uh, wraps and things. It's all made out of cardboard, so there's no plastic, there's nothing, um, all the instructions are all loose in there, so there's nothing, no plastic at all in there, which is really great. Uh, one of the things that Hasbro is uh, looking to improve on, so it's good. Obviously with that, you don't get uh, the kind of window box that you sometimes get, which is fine. So you don't actually get to see the figure um, which some might say is a, sort of a negative thing but uh, they've done a nice job with the packaging and all of these they've kind of got the same thing the kind of golden disc on the front which is something which is featured in Beast Wars um, the kind of storyline it kind of I guess it's been shown in the kind of cartoon series and the kind of comic book as well. I guess it's also come up in the War for Cybertron Actual Kingdom one as well, the kind of golden disc. These kind of almost like um, artifacts which contain information about the, the future, um, which have been stored by uh, Megatron. And the Beast Wars Megatron then goes to try and get that information, etc., etc. The story around this kind of golden disc thing this kind of series is um, each one's kind of got their own kind of story so as these figures go on in the line I think this is like uh, part two of it so the story is that um, uh, Jackpot is actually a, an action master figure originally is that uh, due to this kind of quantum time surge that uh, Jackpot and um, his partner here get kind of pulled into prehistoric earth um, and as part of that he kind of um, not exactly gets reformatted, but there's some changes to him, which means he's now able to transform. And his, um, his kind of like target master, Buddy Sites, does get then a new mode, which is kind of it's uh, basically a retool of a, a figure that we've already seen. Um, nothing else really much to show you about the, the box. It just kind of carries on over. And then round the back here is kind of stuff that you kind of used to seeing is pictures of them in both robot and vehicle mode. And they're kind of, like I mentioned, this kind of target master guy here as well. I do have the original Action Master jackpot as a comparison. So we can take a look at that figure as well. Um, but there he is. He's kind of like a, a retool. Um, and obviously... Uh, different paint apps and everything else on the kind of jazz one that we've seen through the studio series i think it is anyway i've got him open so i'm going to pop that off to one side and then I'm going to bring him in here so there we go yeah so this is him in his robot mode uh, so he's a deluxe class figure as you can see, he does come with a blast effect as well. So in terms of accessories, you get uh, this blaster here. Which is in black plastic and then painted blue. Um, apart from the handles, so you don't have to worry about kind of losing any paint or anything on here. Uh, and then you get this guy here. And you get the blast effect added on here. I did have a kind of little bit of extra like plastic, I think, that was stuck on here. So I have managed to pull that off. And you just peg that on with the corresponding holes in here like that. So when he's hitting the ground, 
psh, and makes a almighty boosh and you can do that on either side and you can take that off and you can transform this guy into his little kind of bird pterodactyl kind of mode it's folding out his little legs like that and then you've got him like that uh, you can also use this blast effect on the gun so you can kind of be shooting off something like that which is pretty neat and as a bit of a size comparison let's just stand him upright a second and then we'll bring in the action master variant So you can see my one, his uh, arms are a wee bit wobbly, but the uh, legs are in good shape here. So you see the colours are spot on for what they've chosen. And, and even with this guy here, I actually probably prefer this one to the other one, to be fair. But the colours are not too far off. And this guy stands up like that. And the transformation with this one is slightly different. So you just pings this up. And that opens up as a gun. Um, and then I think you kind of pull these bits up. I, from what I remember. And you peg the gun on the end of here. And you can hold it. Um, so it doesn't quite. I guess with this guy here. You could actually. I don't know if you can get him to hold it or not. No I don't think you can get him to hold it. I was going to see if you can do that but you can't unfortunately but uh, yeah it does look a, a little bit big on the action master figure the gun is uh, slightly different but again the color is slightly off but it's reminiscent of it uh, and then you look up close up you can see they've done a, done a fairly good job of doing the colors the one issue i don't know if you can see it straight away once you see it you can't unsee it unfortunately there have been some QC issues with this figure, particularly around the head, not the Action Master one. The uh, the exclusive uh, Golden Disc one, this one here. Uh, and you can see, I'll just bring him up closer, and it's like the head is all over the shop. So it looks like you've got one kind of central piece and then two pieces here either side that fit together. Now they're kind of misaligned, but also I think this side here looks like it's too big. So it looks like it's taller and also got more on here. Um, it doesn't look too bad down at the bottom. So that looks as if it's kind of lined up. It's this bottom section, this top section here, which looks like it's got too much here and then too much on the top, which gives him a really weird um, look, unfortunately. So I shall be speaking to Hasbro and seeing if there's anything they can do on that one. Uh, I don't know why they just didn't do it as one piece. Um, it seems like an odd choice to have the two headpieces stuck together. But um, other than that, it's quite cool. All the kind of vents and stuff that they put in here are all nice. Uh, and the paint's really good. Nice orange across here. The silver is done well, even though they've made a bodge up of putting that putting their head together unfortunately and in terms of articulation I'm just going to take his gun off a second so it is the same as Jazz uh, obviously his backpack is all kind of in here and you can peg his gun on the side of here if you want to or even your little um, buddy here if you want to so you could peg that onto the back there like that and have him Hold it like that at the back or kind of at the top here. I guess it could be like a weird looking backpack or jetpack sort of wings sort of thing. So you could do that if you want to. Obviously if you have it around the other way around you've got this bit kind of popping out potentially with like a, a blaster there. So that is something that you could do as well. I think that looks quite neat actually. That's not bad. So that's a, another option. 
The head looks up, looks down, a little bit of the old confused jackpot look, and uh, it can rotate all the way around. So despite the issues with the actual sculpt, it does uh, good movement on it. And you can kind of see from the back here, I don't know if you can see, you see where it doesn't quite line up again there. Autobot symbol on the front here. Uh, it feels like this is painted here as well. Um, certainly the yellow is painted on, which they've done well, and it's tricky to do on uh, plastic here. But uh, they've got a good kind of coverage on here. And you've got some lovely silver paint going across and some orange kind of headlights in here, which is lovely. And even red paint underneath here, which uh, you do also get on the other figure here as well. So you can see they've met, matched the paint apps here. Um, some lovely bright orange paint on the kind of top of the knee and for the feet and the kind of shin guards. Again, great coverage, really well done. And then round for these kind of like hubcaps, sec not hubcaps, but kind of the wheel arches, I guess. Um, you've got this really smooth finish on the yellow paint here which again is done excellently. And I think, like I said, this section here is all painted here as well. So you've got this orange translucent plastic, which is painted all black. Um, and that's done really nice. Uh, the arms move out to there. So it's kind of like on this kind of universal thing. And then rotation all the way around. You do get rotation here as well. That's that red goes all the way around. And the arm goes up to here, down to here. And then you, you get the fist that moves in and out. That's just to do with the transformation. Uh, the waist does rotate. So you can rotate that all the way around. You, this backpack bit can kind of get in the way a little bit. So it's just something to be aware of. I think you've got like a little flight stand thingy just in there as well. And then legs go all the way up to here. Um, back to there, so not quite all the way, and then out to there, so you can't quite do the splits, but he's trying his best. You get rotation in there, so you've got like a mushroom peg in there, which rotates around, gives you a fair bit of range. The knees are supposed to be pegged into there, but they do have the habit of kind of coming undone. So you get to there, and then if you want to kind of break the mould there, you can kind of get it all the way back to there, but it's supposed to peg into there, but it's not the greatest of connections. The uh, feet there, um, toes move forward and back here, and then you get a, a rocker that goes all the way out to there. Uh, I think also as well, in terms of the look, I think it's supposed to have um, this bit out like this, actually. But that's kind of like how with that little bit up there was kind of how he came in the um, in the packaging. Um, you also know when you get him out of the box that you have to kind of fold this up a little bit. But uh, he's a good looking bot, um, even with the issues that I said about their head sculpt. Uh, he's got a good presence. It, you know, it just is off putting with that head sculpt. That's the only thing. And um, as I mentioned, you know, this guy here, you can you can hold him, but in terms of articulation, the wings kind of move in and out, the feet kind of in and out here, so you can get him to hold up, um, and then this bit here, and I guess the other thing you can do is kind of have it as a gun as well. So you could have this as a blaster like that as well. So you can have the two side by side. Like that. So there you go. Um, and now I think I've already reviewed and gone through the transformation previously. Um, so I'll just double check that. If I have, I'll just show it in vehicle mode and we'll take a look at it. Right, here we are. Uh, we've got Jackpot in his robot mode, <laughs> robot mode, his vehicle mode. I did have a, back, a look back through my previous reviews. 
I did see that I'd already reviewed the studio series Jazz, which does contain the transformation. So uh, take a look at that one if you're not sure how to transform it. But uh, it's fairly easy. The only thing that you need to watch out for is when you're folding back in the um, the arms into here, there's this red section here, which kind of twirls around, which allows you to get the arms in here, uh, which is pretty good. Let me just um, adjust that a second. Just annoyingly, the, um, the thing on this just keeps on changing. It's like I, I don't want is uh, it just felt like it was kept on changing. I don't know if that's the kind of like the autofocus on it. Yeah, so hopefully that'll stay as it is. But yeah, it's a great looking vehicle mode. Uh, there's a few little nitpicks. So it would have been cool if they had painted the wheels or the kind of like hubcaps in these sections here. And then you've got like a kind of peg bit here showing in here. There is also uh, a bit of a difference between the some of the yellows. So where you've used yellow plastic here and then yellow paint, there is like a bit of a difference there. So you notice that, but the clear see-through windscreen looks great. They've done a, a great job on that. And generally it looks a very nice looking vehicle mode I would say. There you can make some like changes to it in terms of adding a few bits. So you can add this on here. I think they show it like this in the instructions. That looks pretty neat. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Beast Hunter's Bumblebee in a way. And I don't think there's an extra place where you can put the gun on as well. But you can take this off and add in the gun on top of there as well. So there is that. I mean, you can turn it around if you just want to move it out of the way or just take it off altogether. But a pretty look, good looking vehicle mode, in my opinion. Um, overall, though, you know, is it worth getting? Yeah, I think so. Um, there are those QC issues. So maybe you want to hold off and wait for all of those to be resolved. Um, I'm going to see if I can email Hasbro to see what they'll do. Hopefully they'll sort something out because it is like uh, a fairly obvious issue and something that they've kind of got wrong there. So fingers crossed, I'll let you know how I get on with that one. But overall, uh, a recommend from me, uh, really into Action Master toys. Um, you know, I love them. So it's great to see this one kind of get a mainline release. I, I do have another version of this, which was, I think it was Transformers Collectors Club, where it was... I'm done in the animated style. So again, it was a, a retool of jazz um, animated. So yeah, but I don't have that one to hand, unfortunately. But you see, actually, just the two look pretty good alongside each other. You've got the Action Master version and the new kind of War for Cybertron golden disc version as well. So yeah, very good. I've got some others in the collection as well that I'll be looking to review and take a look at as well. So stay tuned for those on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.